So hi everyone, it's nice to be here all the way from Australia. It's a long way to come <laughs> to participate in this. Uh, so I guess, um, so yeah, I'm Mary, um, working for the Great Eastern Rangers Initiative um, Glideways project. Um, so I guess my point on this is, is, is different. I'm um, looking at citizen science actually using it in a conservation project. So I'll just give you a bit of a rundown about. Um, so basically, um, you can see the East Coast there of Australia. So we are a connectivity conservation initiative trying to connect um, this very important landscape from the bottom of um, Victoria up to um, Queensland. Um, our, our goal, it's like a, a 3,600 kilometre um, um, project uh, linking uh, the reserve systems basically across, uh, across the country. Um, so I'm working on a particular area which is called the Kanangra Boy to Angle Link, uh, which is, if anyone's ever been to Australia, uh, it's at the bottom of the Blue Mountains. It starts at, um, which that is that large green um, area there and um, spans over, over to um, Cow, which you would never know. Um, anyway, basically, you can see in that in that uh, in that map, the green areas are the reserve systems. So what we're trying to do is actually link up between these reserve systems, and you can see in those photos there what 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 it kind of looks like in between the in, in between the national parks and um, on an, on the private land. So basically, we're a partnership, and we've we're full of you know all different organisations from community groups, Aboriginal groups, universities, government agencies, etc. Um, we decided to, you know, it's very hard to sell connectivity conservation, so we started um, a project with a, with a focus on um, cute, cuddly, um, gliding possums. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anyone has ever seen a, a gliding possum, but basically it's a small little um, mammal that has a, a membrane between its um, arms down to its legs and it can glide between trees. It's very cute. Uh, so. Yeah, so basically it just happens to be, um, you know, we have five, they're, they're threatened species, we have five out of six in, in the area that we're working in, and the requirements that they need really align with a lot of other animals um, and other threatened species in, in our environment, so it sort of works very well. So things that we do for gliders actually help a whole range of species, such as koalas, robins, frogs, and uh, spotted tail quolls. Uh, so basically we aim to increase the range of um, private land conservation instruments so that's getting people who've got good habitat on their property to put them under um, long-term conservation and involve landholders and local communities in citizen science projects um, to map and monitor glider populations. We also um, involve schools and Aboriginal groups and um, we're doing a whole lot of um, restoration works. So, yeah, so community engagement is a really big part of, of what we're doing and we really, you know, basically we're working in the, in the areas outside of the reserve system, so we really need the community to be involved. Um, and so I'll just quickly get onto the citizen science. So, so basically, uh, citizen science is a really big part of this project. We, I mean, a lot of citizen science is more about community engagement than actually really getting data, but for, for long-term monitoring, we really need um, to have people on the ground recording and, and m making, observing changes over time. Uh, the Australian government has invested a lot in citizen science. It knows that there's, you know, s people are really interested in it and there's grants available all of the time. This is m creating a whole lot of um, new apps and, um, whole, you know, there's a whole, you can basically find an app in Australia for every animal, basically. You can go out and, you know, if it's a, a bird, you know, bird spotting, whatever. Um, so there's a whole lot of resources that we can use for that. Um, we all, you know, so yeah, basically these are some of the things we're doing. And um, for feral animals as well, I don't know if you know the word feral or invasive, invasive um, species. So yes, yeah, so we, um, and one of the best ways of, of utilizing citizen science is through a bio blitz because some of the issues in, um, using, um, get, we're getting all this data is actually having someone there to analyse the data and whatever. So if you have it in a concentrated um, time frame, you get all your scientists together and you can go out and get a whole lot of data over a short period of time. And yeah, basically I'm happy to talk to anyone afterwards. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.